everyone how are you guys welcome back to Amore Fabrics um, if you are new here don't forget to subscribe thumbs up um, today I was going to talk about what are my new projects I'm going to be working on usually I do daily deals and things like that but lately I've been uh, having the uh, itch to create some projects and a challenge I need a little challenge here and there I think we all need challenges here and there to keep us going get motivated I've had a lot of inspiration from you guys to step out there and try something creative and so I figured I'm gonna go through um, all my favorites my classics when it comes to my books and I'm gonna turn them into a vintage um, style of them and one of those are the giving tree I have a big obsession with those who follow me on my Facebook group I did a post recently about my one of my biggest obsessions and it is a um, silver steam book <laughs> so uh, those who don't know it's it's an author who had does amazing um, poems and books mainly for children um, the first one I was ever introduced to as a child was where the sidewalk ends um, but there's so many of his books and anytime I go thrifting or if I go to the bookstore if I see one I have to pick it up of course I love vintage so when I look for one uh, if I come across one it's of course it's vintage <clears throat> so I, I just can't stop so I have duplicates of these books in different years different um, print kind of thing but um, one of my all-time favorite books of his is The Giving Tree and I have one of my earliest ones is from the 60s um, and I hope you guys get a chance I'm gonna put a link down below to where you can on Amazon get the book if you ever want to check it out but it is one amazing book and it's just that the giving tree um, I won't go too much into detail but it's pretty much about a little boy and a tree who are friends and how that tree will just give this boy so many things in life um, a part of him his branches his apples his wood to build himself a house but long story short the book is, is a lesson uh, for children about giving and it's a really good book and I was just about to get teary-eyed about it anyway so I what I wanted to do was um, those who know I'm doing the Anna Green Gables is another one of my all-time favorites um, that's in another video in itself but I wanted to stick with the same theme of a vintage grungy look because I'm doing a bookshelf for myself guys of all things for myself and I wanted to keep the same theme like the first one was Whitman's poems I love poems obviously you guys know I like Silverstein um, poems it just reminds me of childhood but so my first journal I ever made was that and I figured I'm gonna stick with the grungy look and I found this really cool book um, look at this the music hour books those who know the music hour books are pretty good collector of books but this one is a pretty worn out one and that's why I picked it um, it's green of course like the giving tree it has a tree here I don't know if you can see it and it has a little boy so the book is about a little boy and a tree and a giving tree and I figured this is perfect and plus it would look good on my shelf the same theme because Anna Green Gables which is a whole nother video I'm doing I'm still debating on which book cover to use and I came across this really grungy one and it looks good with the same colors I just got to figure out which one I want if I want the success with small fruits one the big uh, style of that look how messed up that is I'm gonna work it I have a feeling I'm leaning towards this because I really love this fabric swatch my goal is to in these books to stick with the vintage style theme of the era which obviously the giving tree there is no era it's just I think that's pretty much the 50s 60s 70s kind of era which I'm not worried about that but I want to make it vintage regardless um, but same thing with Anna Green Gables though but Anna Green Gables I want to stick with the same fabrics of that time uh, Victorianish and yet simple and plain as well so and uh, in words so anyways that's a whole other video in itself so I still debating on which book but I have a feeling it's gonna be this one right here but back to the giving tree though so I don't make this too boring so I picked this one here but I have a dilemma and I thought well maybe you guys my followers can help me is that the giving tree because I want it, the papers to stay brown just like the the book here the music hour which I love this book guys can you believe I'll be ripping this out but it looks like it's pretty worn had some water damage um, it, it can be refurbished so I'm gonna rip this sucker out but my my dilemma okay back to focus here Slana 
is the pages are white, like very, very white. <laughs> and the giving tree, um, I'm going to use the entire, I'm going to use the entire story. So I'm not going to ruin Silverstein's story um, by like not putting it in order. So I'm going to use every page. I'm going to keep the story in the book. Of course, in between pages, I'll do coffee dyed papers and <clears throat> stuff like that in between, but I'm going to keep the story theme. I'm going to even keep the original by Silverstein, of course, because I, I want to keep it intact as whole as possible. But what is my, my question is, what do I do to make these not so white? I know I've done coffee dyeing before in the oven on papers, but these papers are a little bit thicker <clears throat> and it's a whole lot of white, which I'm not worried about the size of the pages. This the cool thing about this book too is that it's tied in so when i take this apart i'm gonna keep the sections so i can keep a full page you know when i do my pages and my signatures in the book that i do um the cool thing is that this book isn't too big but yet still will, i can cut it down to where i'm not gonna have as much white paper in the book and it's a poem story, so there's not a whole lot of words in it, so it's just going to be really neat when I do it. All right, so down below in comments, so this is my, I'm asking for help, and yet this is a giveaway as well, because I'm going to be giving away, uh, what's the book here? I have The Light in the Attic, that's the one. So I have like three of The Light in the Attic of Silverstein's books, and I think they're, what year is this one? So I'm going to do a giveaway. So if you comment down below, you're going to be part of a giveaway. This one's the 1970s copyright book. Um, and I'll be giving that away to the winner. I'll do a drawing kind of thing. But comment below what your suggestion is on what I should do. I think if I coffee dye this pages um, is that my concern is being that this is a very thick white paper. It's going to be still kind of just too light of a white i'm looking for a color that is a little more this like a creamy color what do i do so i know there's a lot of videos out there and i can search and stuff but i'm asking my fellow friends here who are journalers and um i would like to have this color if i could and um so yeah down below comment down below i will do a drawing if you follow me on facebook down down below is a drop down menu Follow me on Facebook and I will announce when I'll be doing a giveaway drawing for the winner for the Light in the Attic house book for just commenting, guys. That's pretty simple, easy giveaway. Um, so don't forget to just go down below there and comment. Tell me what you think. This is the book for the giveaway, which is really nice. And I love his poems, guys. Awesome book. I mean, I just love his poems. So now you guys know one of my obsessions. You guys know my dilemma about this book. I am going to create it into this book, into a vintage style. Help with your suggestions would be awesome. This is going to be my uh, my November project. Um, my October project right now is the Anne of Green Gables. But I just figured I'll throw this video out here to get heads up. So I know I can get this started for when November does come. So... Please don't forget to thumbs up, comment down below so you can win this awesome book um, or a chance to win this awesome book. If you're new, please say hey down below too so I can get to know you guys. Um, thank you for watching and I look forward to hear what you guys have to say. I'm just very, very curious. Thank you guys. You guys have a blessed day. Bye.